as we are ready to kick this off. Kiv goes both 1 and 0 oh in Group C. Game 2 underway. Young Kiv getting the ball to start the game. Nice return up near the 30-yard line. And just a reminder, 2019 Madden Bowl, it's brought to you by Bose, the official sound of the Madden NFL 19 Championship Series. RG's a big fan of those Bose headphones. Here's the thing. I've officially wet beak on all of the sponsors. I got my Snickers box. I got my New Era hat. I got a couple of the Pat's New Era hats, that, which are phenomenal. I actually need to grab a couple to bring back to some of my dogs back at the office. And, and then I got the Bose, the earbud Bose. I, I, they gave me the earbud joints. And you know what? Earbuds are life changing. I, I, used, I never understood why people wanted them. I thought I would lose them. I don't go anywhere without them now. So, you know, huge shout out to our sponsors. Uh, they're phenomenal. Um, got, you got auto insurance? I can't forget about Progressive, obviously. You know I rock with Flo, man. You know I'm rocking with Flo. I'm, I got Flo first pick on my pickup football team. I saw her throwing that pigskin around. She's got a tight spiral. She's a lefty. Like Michael Vick is at the helm. Vick, first down. Why not? Ricky Williams, the Texas Longhorn, out of bounds at 36. interesting to see we know kid spent a lot of cap on his offense and uh, not much on the defense i haven't had a chance to see ghost's roster yet i'm curious to see what he looks like on that defensive side of the ball to be honest nick asking i shall receive look at this so you see ghost he's actually got some goons out here he's got jamal adams he's got sean taylor Couple goons at corner right here. And look at this. This is an out of position. Ladanian Tomlinson. Yes, in Mutt. You can get some out of position items like Ladanian Tomlinson at middle linebacker. So if he gets an interception with that guy, look out because it could be pick six. Ghost definitely didn't take his defense. He has some goons out there. Ask and you shall receive. I would like a million dollars. I'm just for you. sometimes. Just for you. Got it. 4.05 and counting in the first quarter. Kim doing what he did to start out against Blocky driving down the field. Vick rolls left, steps up, he'll take off, diving forward. We're seeing him, I think we've seen Kim dive with the quarterback more than slide, and that is a, a rarity considering how risky diving can be. Second and two. Ricky Williams now on the right hip of Michael Vick. Looks left side, finds Moss once again. Boy, Kim just sees the field as well as anybody passing the ball. Yeah, he just, like they said, he's the robot. He's so surgical. In a world where guys dress up their defense and make all kinds of adjustments, it's almost like Kim is the guy that's, it's like he could see his opponent's play art. He knows exactly where the defenders are gonna be, exactly what's gonna be open. And it's just surgical play after play. Look at this. Look at this. And he is hitting that crossing route. It's bracket coverage over there. A deep safety and underneath corner, and it's a perfect throw at the right time. He had the crossing route. Ghost wanted to sit on it, but then he playmakers his hitch route to the other side of the field. Ghost has to go with that route now, make a decision. One of them's going to be open. You give Kim enough time to make reads like that, he's just going to dissect you. We'll pause right there. Maybe just to break up the action. I think that was Ghost telling Kiv, hey, settle down, man. <laughs> slow down, slow, slow down. It down. Whoa. Slow it down, Whoa, buddy. Big Wrong number. As Kiv already down to the six yard line. It's been Dot City. First and 10. Good old East Coast versus West Coast battle. Ghost from New Brunswick, New Jersey. Kiv from Seattle, Washington. Ricky Williams. From Texas, he'll pick up a couple. Get to a, a second and goal from the three. Sean Taylor, the great, coming up and making the tackle. Phenomenal. That's one of the things you love about Ultimate Team. You know, R.I.P. to Sean Taylor, one of the all-time greats. But you know what? He lives on in John Madden football, and there's no short of he, there's no shortage of plays that he makes here on the virtual gridiron. He's one of the most popular defenders on the entire circuit, and for good reason. That guy's a beast. Oh, he's got Williams all the way over there. Nobody goes out to match up. Oh, oh nice one. What a read for.
from Ghost. Elite oh. defense from a man known as one of the more prolific offensive players. We already told you, Kiv, the Seattle Seahawks club champion, Ghost. He's a two-time Washington Redskins club champion. And not only that, last year, he won the whole club championship title, took home that belt to the Washington Redskins. And that's an organization that showed him a lot of support. I believe they even gave him season tickets yeah. for the upcoming season. And he came up only two games. He gave him two games short from winning a back-to-back -back club championship belt. A great performance this year at the club championship. Third and goal for Kim. Vic. He's going to take off. Big hit. Oh, Stop man. at the one. Ghost's defense in the goal line. Holding strong. Well, Kiv settled for three. Now it looks like he's going for it. Oh, this is big. One yard away. Momentum play. Can Ghost hold the door? Looks like he's looking for that fullback dive with Sharp. Are you hold or not? Maybe it's a toss play now. Let's see what he's adjusted to. It's that three tight end set. It's a toss play. The defense is there. An early stop for Ghost. He's fired up in the first quarter. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Every person out there who goes, I don't watch Game of Thrones, just switched off. They're just like. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And this will be the rest of the show. Hold on. Hold on. That was, in all serious, though, that's a big play for Ghost. We talk about Kiv has all this beef on the offense, no goons on the defense. And then for you to be able to come out, get a stop on Kiv's opening possession, get yourself the ball, that's huge. And gee, we haven't mentioned it today. What are these guys doing taking that delay of game penalty? Uh, what is all these adjustments pre-drive? Uh, pre so there's two main things you can do when you're at the play call screen other than call your play. The first thing they're going to do is they're going to set their formation subs. Oh, That's oh. simply you go into the formation, you press oh, the oh. RB button, and it allows you to swap players from diff different positions. If Moss is on the outside, you can put them on the slot and vice versa. The other thing they do is they're setting their audibles. They use this mechanical audibles on the fly, and that allows them to customize what audibles they bring with them to the line of scrimmage. So if they get to the line of scrimmage like Kid often does, and he doesn't like what he sees, he can check down to a play that he likes versus the coverage that they're showing him. So those are two very important mechanics. If you want to take your game to the next level to be able to compete here, you're going to have to know how to use both of those mechanics. There's not one player that plays in this competition that isn't using formation subs or audibles on the fly. Could be wrong. If I remember correctly, all those on the fly was added in a patch in Madden 18. One of the best things, one of the most underrated things added to the game. Hey, hey I'm a game designer. That, that was one of my feats, and I fought hard for that one, Nick. But EA hooked it up, and it, to me, it, it's one of my all-time favorites. Not only because you can set your audibles at the start of the game, but as the game progresses, and if you want to switch up your game plan, maybe go to a more run-heavy set, have a bunch of run audibles in there, you can do that. Or if you're down points and you need to make sure you have a bunch of passing plays, you can switch it up. It really allows you to be agile with your game plan on the fly. One of my all-time favorite features from a strategic point of view. Boy, how lucky are we here at the Madden Bowl to not only have a guy like Sirius Mo, a current player to give us that perspective, a guy like RG who works on the game to give his perspective. We are blessed. We're blessed to have you guys with us. So happy you're joining us here on day two of the Madden Bowl. Nick Mazesco, RG hanging out with you. Hour number two, game two of Group C. It is two Bell winners facing off. Young Kip and Ghost. And I'll tell you, that Coe and Mo combination, they crushed it Woo! yesterday. I went back and watched those games. The Coe Mo connection. Oh, man, they, they did a phenomenal job. I'm truly lucky to have them out here. Now I, now I just need my Cole train back, and we'll be full throttle. Don't worry, man. The Cole train, I hear it's pulling into the station soon. Yeah, exactly. Hey, let's go. Couldn't get the feet in bounds on the right side. He'll set up a third and ten. So we're nearing the end of the first quarter. Double, double, double. Hey, 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 hey. Mike Vick at the helm of Ghosts. Vick, left side, has a man. And boy, RG, we talk about how big these games are at group stage. These guys are 1-0. and A win in this game locks them into the second round. Yeah, that's a really big deal. And more importantly, putting yourself in position for that bye. 
if you get out of the groups, you guarantee yourself 7,500. But if you get out of the groups with the buy, you've now guaranteed your spot in the final eight, and you've guaranteed yourself $10,000, which is a nice little cash infusion. Second and 16. As the controllers are down, hydrate up, get ready for three more quarters of Madden football. It's scoreless. Zeros all over the place. Zeros on the clock, zeros on the scoreboard. Ghost with the ball after an early stop of the prolific Young Kiv offense. Come on. Throughout the tournament, we're going ham on Twitch drops, guys. We're giving away four gold or better players, a 200 pick currency quick sell, a competitive series trophy, and what I'm excited for, 98 overall Madden 20 cover player, Patrick Mahomes. Click the link below to connect your Madden and Twitch accounts to earn. The longer you watch, the more rewards you earn. Second quarter getting underway. Game two. And not only a win in this game gets you 2 and a watch in the next round, it gives you an opportunity uh, to get that buy and not have to play in a wild card game later today. Such a huge deal. You, you, you get the bye, you get to just go home after today, relax a little bit, watch the rest of the games. I, uh, I got a bye in, um, I believe it was the Madden, for the Madden away game, so it was the 2007 Madden Challenge. And, uh, you know, there's usually 32 people, but that year there were a couple of buys, and I got um, straight into the final 16. And, you know, that helped you out a lot. It does a lot for your confidence. Uh, it's one less game against a really tough opponent that you get to play. And, um, yeah, that bye is just a really, really good feeling. And that's something I can speak of from experience. Third and seven for Ghost from the 38-yard line. He'll look left side. Short of line of game, but it's been back inside. Decision time. Looks like it's going to be a fourth and short. It's no decision. Hurry up offense for oh Ghost. Oh, my goodness. This is big. Bunch to the right. Jerry Rice alone to the left. Joe Mixon. Will now be on his right hip. Two yards from picking up a first down. Can Kip respond to the defensive stop of his own? Ghost looks over to the hit trap. That's easy. Pitch and catch. First down. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. One of the things I loved on that play right there from Ghost is he didn't throw the high ball on that hitch. The hitch was just wide open. And we see people just get complacent with always throwing high balls in that situation. And that just increases your chance at an inaccurate pass, gives the defenders more time to get over and knock the ball out. Ghost recognizes that. See, right there was a high ball. But the play before, he just threw it in, gave himself a better chance for success. And that was a very, very smart play for him and a smart tendency on fourth down. I love to see that. I hate when these guys just get complacent and just want to highball everything, especially when it's not necessary. Ghost didn't do that on that fourth down play. That was awesome. Eagle, Eagle. Under the 330 mark of the first half, Ghost with the ball. He stopped Kim inside the goal line. Can he get a score of his own? Vic. Gonna roll left. Got all the time in the world. Chuck this out of bounds. A souvenir for the fan in row two. Second and ten. Look at Coach Ghost. He's as focused as actual Ghost. How many, this just shows you how tough this tournament. Almost every guy that's playing in this tournament has a custom coach on the sideline. And you don't just get a coach on the sideline if you're some average Madden player. Right at the seam. Off flag. I think we might get a pass interference. Yeah, we good. will. Some contact late sets Ghost up with a first down. And in this mode, the only way you can get pass interference is if you catch. do it as a user defender. So that means Kiv clicked on and he got a hit on Ghost. I'd like to see a replay of that if we have it. You don't see that often. And you saw the high pass going to the seam. It was open. Double, double. Maybe went a little too early. Ghost has been talking about this in the near formation. Fullback dive, hey. Eh? He said it's a guaranteed yard. Kim says it's a loss of two. <laughs> you know, it is funny. Ghost has been saying, all, not just there, but all he's like, oh, my fullback dive, guaranteed yard. Guaranteed one yard, no, man. Kim said, shut up. <laughs> now Punched him in the mouth. Second and goal from the three. He's going to come back out. That's Jeremy Shockey. The New York Giant great. At fullback, Joe makes it on his right. How about giving it to Shockey one more time? Oh, man. All right, so we've had a loss of two. We've had a gain of two. It's all a wash. Now third and goal. So it's 
see what, what Kiv got. Ghostus went to his coaching adjustments. I think he put his blocking on aggressive. Leaves him susceptible for a holding penalty, but should give him a little more push. See if Kiv got a little hold on him himself. Uh, he's into the end zone. Archie, you know what I'm going to say. Inside the goal line for Ghost, the wheels on the bus. They go ground and pound. And it's Jeremy Shockey finding the end zone. That's a big part of why Ghost likes to stay in that West Coast offensive playbook. He loves the plays in the gun punch, but he also loves that it has that near formation that he can, you know, check down to when he gets there to the goal line. Play a little grown man football. He's been running that for the last, se last several years with a lot of success in that situation. It didn't disappoint him there. And now Kiv, remember, Ghost gets the ball to start the second half. Kiv down seven, doesn't have the greatest defense. This is a huge, huge drive for him. He's going to need a response. First and ten. Kiv looking down the middle of the field. When in doubt, air it out for young Kiv. You see how open Kiv's guys are? He doesn't throw a lot of those 50-50 balls on his guys are catching those passes and they're often catching them in stride. It's just phenomenal. We had the two minute warning. It's a seven nothing game. Kiv, only three drives so far in this game. Kiv, his second drive, he got stopped inside the 10 by Ghost. He's looking to put seven on the board and respond to the touchdown from Ghost. Bunch formation to the left side, Jerry Rice on the right. Steps up, got a couple spies, forces him to slide down. It was second and nine. Michael Vick at the helm for both these players. We mentioned it yesterday, half the field using Vick, half the field using Lamar Jackson. Goes by the way in game one. He went 20 at 25, passed the ball for 313. Two touchdowns, two interceptions. He found the end zone on the ground in this game, but it was the passing attack that got him down the field. Incredibly accurate. We talk about Kiv's passing oh, attack. Oh. Ghost. Eagle, Eagle. Just as prolific. Oh, oh. Ocho Cinco. <laughs> Wheel wrap, right side. Ooh. Jerry Rice, spin move, breaks a tackle, dives. He's into the end. <laughs> I can use some steak and rice right now myself, Nick, but how about young Kev? Just so prolific on offense, goes on cruise control. I tell you, it's a big drive. He needs to respond. Young Kev says, no big deal. Gets down the field, gets himself a touchdown. Like he said, steak with a little side of rice. Jerry Rice. Very impressive by the Kevin. But with a buck 29 left and three timeouts. Ghost is going to get the ball. We saw his offense incredibly effective looking down the field. Let's look at this one more time. There's a reason Jerry Rice is a Hall of Famer. Look at that spin move. Boom. Get off. Shotgun formation for Ghost. Starting out this little two minute drill. He's got all three timeouts. A minute 25 to go. Big. Corner route. Woo! Almost got it. A good defense over there. Forcing Jones to the outside. Now a second and 10, minute 21 in the first half. We got a tie ball game between two belt winners. Your coach, you'd love to turn this into points, and you would love to leave Kim with no time left on the clock. You want this to be the last drive of the game. Get yourself some points, take the lead, get the ball in the second half, reset, and try to make it two possession. There you go right here, Nick. Look at the screen. This is Ghost's offense. Look how hard power that is. You got yourself a little Jeremy Shockey out there, huh? That, that's a little new one. Look at the then, balance of offense to defense. You can see that. Right here. Right oh, never mind. It's 585 on offense, 527 on defense. And a little dump off, Jerry Rice. It's a good balance. It's a good balance. And what Nick's talking about is right here in this corner, it gives you the offensive total breakdown 
the defensive total and the specialist total, uh, that chemistry total is not correct because it doesn't count the chemistry abilities. Oh, yeah, it's going much more balanced than, say, Young Kit. It's just such an informative screen. I'm really happy that, that we put that into the broadcast because that's something the viewers can go in action on right away. If you are having trouble building your salary cap team, go back and clip that. And that's just a great example of how the pros are building their rosters. It's very valuable information. Uh, one thing I'm noticing, even though Kibbs' defense cap-wise isn't very strong, they seem to be getting the quarterback at the right time. We saw the post route coming open, but they're not giving him six, seven seconds in the pocket. It's more three or four, which is throwing off the time. Go still being able to move the ball. And I just realized the re a big reason why Ghost has that big Jeremy Shockey on his team is that's a guy, not only does he like him at tight end, but when he gets down to that near formation, that's who he's going to put at the fullback to let him try to pound his way into that red zone, into that end zone. Vic must have been distracted by something on that play. He had a receiver wide open. And Speaking of distracted, look at that hat. Shout out to New Era. They did it big for these competitors. Hooked them all up with those Madden Ball exclusive hats and then one super exclusive one for the champion. So not only are you playing for that belt, you're playing for that exclusive New Era Madden Ball champion hat. Imagine walking to a Madden tournament with that thing on. You want to talk about swagging around? I tried to steal that hat about three times. Apparently being a champion eater wasn't qualification enough to get one of those hats, but apparently it's just it's just Madden champion gets That's one of those. That's one beauty. of one. Speaking of Madden champion, this is a championship play right here. Fourth and one for Ghost. If he goes for this and doesn't get it, he's going to give Kiff plenty of time to just get himself a field goal of his own. This is a big play. This is a momentum play right here. If Kiff can get this stop, he can likely secure himself a field goal with one big play. This is huge. This play will probably determine who's going to leave this half with the lead. Vic steps up. Spy in the middle of the field. High pass. Wow. I'm going to catch that. Sugar and spice and everything rice with the catch there. I mean, if your goes, everything was breaking down. It's fourth down. you got to make sure you get the ball off. Gives himself a 50-50 ball. Comes down with it. Big pickup for Ghost. No timeout still. Hey, there's that guaranteed one yard. How about seven from Jeremy Shockey? Yeah, I mean, that's a beast, that fullback. That, that's reminiscent of the Madden 07 days. Big Gene with Shockey at fullback, sending him on wheel routes, throwing it high. I mean, Shockey was a lot to deal with back in the day. He's a lot to deal with now. Big field goal for Ghost. The difference between 07 and now is, I think, they're not in first grade. Yeah, exactly. Well, Shockey was game. actually in the game back then. Now he's a legend. He was just on default rosters back then in, in the ancient days. Halftime here, game two of Group C. Ghost, 10-7 on top. Let's take a look at the highlights between these two belt winners. It is not disappointed as young Kip starting off with a nice pass over to Jerry Rice. Looked like he was going to punch in, but the Ghost defense standing strong. Yeah, Ghost got his Hodor on. Look at this slot right here. Clicks on. That, that's a big time Pick slot. It. Same I, I think, I could be wrong. I think he wanted it to pick. He wanted to pick. Maybe he clicked on. Get off there! <laughs> Come on! Hold on. Kiv's defense not to be shown up. Getting some big defensive plays. It was the former New York Giant, Jeremy Shockey, into the end zone. There's the chest slap. I told you. He's you a champion it. chest slapper. You called it. 10-7. Ghost with the lead. We got one other game going on right now for more on that. Let's throw it over to Rico Williams. What's going on, Rico? Kratobin and Blocky are having one for the ages. Kratobin just coming off that game, wanted to get on the board and get on the board early, and he did by finding Rice and heading up top to take that seven. He piled on real quick by going up top again and finding that, no, it's not a replay, but it is a replay we're watching. Another touchdown, but Blocky would not be undone, outdone. Fournette, able to get in the end zone, cuts it down. We have a 17-17 game going into the third quarter. 17-17, that game monumental as well, RG. Nobody wants to go 0-2 to start the group. Oh, absolutely not. And 
you know, a lot of pressure on both of those players. Blocky trying to chase his first win, and then Kratobin, he, he says, you know, winning this event would put a lot of respect on my name because I want my belt in mud draft. I want to show people that I can also get it done in salary cap. So a lot of pressure on both of those players over there in that game. A big return up the middle. Yeah, Kratobin, I mean, again, he, he has a belt. Uh, it's something that not a lot of people can say, but... He's looking for a little bit of legitimacy to earn that respect in the room as a true belt earner and one of the top players. Yeah, if you can win your belt in much draft and salary cap, that just shows how complete of a Madden player you are. As a matter of fact, we don't have anybody that has been able to win a belt in both salary cap and much draft mode. The only person with multiple belts is Skimbo, and two of his belts are in ranks which is regular normal teams and one in salary cap he doesn't have that draft belt so Katoba trying to be the first to win a belt in both much draft and salary cap and what a notch in his for lack of a better term belt he's able to come up with that win and get back-to-back -back belts here in Madden 19. Fit. left side high pass Jerry Rice Cuts it back to a third and eight. Opens up the playbook a little bit for Ghost. Hey, let's go. Those hitch routes are just so tough to defend, Nick. I mean, they, they, they just, all these guys, they want to play like a zone defense and send a lot of coverage, not a lot of man-to-man. -man. And what that hitch does is it just stays right underneath those zoners, lets them clear out, and it just gives you a, a little Ooh. nice check down option. How about the hit on the edge? Brian the ball free and a fourth and eight. Looks like Ghost is gonna be going for it, but can Kibbs low cap defense get a stop? Oh, it's on. Oh, it's 10-7, Ghost on top of the late field goal. And the first drive of the second half, but Kibbs looking for the stop. Thick. Steps right. Looks deep. Has a man, put it in the bucket. Give him the first down to the 13 yard line. A big play down the field for Ghost. Oh, that's painful if you're the Kiva. It's fourth down, you're trying to get off the field. Not only do you give up the first down, you give up a deep bomb to let Ghost right into the red zone. That was phenomenal pocket presence by Ghost. That wheel route right up the sideline. Randy Moss behind the defender. Ghost gonna run a little draw right here. That's when it mixed up the uh, plays. Gives it to Mixon trying to get the edge. He'll pick up two. Right here, this is usually where you'll see Ghost. He'll either go to that wheel route that everybody likes to, or he'll mix in some curl routes and some hitches. This is the, the popular wheel route right there. You see that play out on your screen. Oh no, he's audible and flips the play. Second eight for Eagle, Ghost. Play clock down to one. Big. Right side. Jeremy shot. Lower the shoulder. Shot Truck in. over a big fella. Pick up a first down. He is so tough to bring down. And Ghost one yard away from a two-score lead. Somebody knows. Hope that I don't. They're singing. You got karaoke going on here in Pot A. Ghost getting it in. Guaranteed one yard. There it is. Jeremy Shockey into the end zone. Ghost is pumped. He's up two scores. It's a fighter right there. Former New York Giant having a giant game for Ghost. Two touchdowns on the ground. 17-7. Looking to go 2-0. That's huge for Ghost to get the touchdown, not have to settle for three, make it the two-possession ball game. Puts a lot of pressure on Kiv and that deflated defense. Now Kiv's offense going to have to come through for him. <laughs> Ghost might have serenaded Jeremy Shockey into the end zone. Come on! What's the chemistry you buy for singing to get your players into the end zone? Is it karaoke superstar? I got his playlist here. What's he got in his playlist? Left side. It's a pretty good tight end, Shannon Shark. 
says he's got a little bit of the weekend, some Drake, some James Arthur, Maroon 5. It's all over the place. It's all over the place. And soon your favorite Christmas carol sung by Ghost. 1995 plus shipping in the handle. Playing a five for Kip. Kip. Uh oh, he's in trouble. No, off his back foot, no. chucks it out of bounds. Fuck. Just got that off. That was big. I mean, uh, Kip, Max protects right there, tr tries to buy himself time, and goes able to still get some pressure, forces the throw away for Kip. And again, Kip cannot afford to not get points on this drive. He's going to have to get it going here. Third and five. Man. He's got A over the middle. Oh, he's so open. Still finds the man, that's Jerry Rice, down to the 42-yard line, and maybe that play gets Kim into some sort of rhythm. It's been all ghosts here in the second half. LT, Danian Tomlinson with the tackle out of position at linebacker. He makes his first tackle of the game. Vic, first to 10, middle of the field. Why not? Find him. It's Randy Moss. Big gainer inside the 35 to the 33 yard line. Hey, let's go. Well, Kim needed an answer after a ghost drove right down the field. There's one thing Kim can do it's move the ball on offense. A drop play. That's Ricky Williams. What a cut. Back inside. He'll pick up eight. I know a tendency for a lot, myself included, a lot of the na novice Madden players out there is to bounce that ball outside. But right there you saw a guy who doesn't run the ball a lot in Kiv recognized the end, stayed wide. So he keeps it tight to the formation, cuts it upfield and picks up eight. Eagle, eagle. Line, line, line. 300, 300. Second and two. Rice alone on the right side. Vic. Three-man rush from Ghost. Vic gets out of the pot. He's locked oh, up. No. Look at the end no. zone. Ricky oh. Williams can't make the play. A great Suck defensive play by the safety. God damn. <laughs> Go, you think he caught the ball the way Ghost is reacting? I mean, it, it was almost a crazy play, but he knocked it out. This is a big play because if Kip doesn't Eagle, get Eagle. this, he'll likely have to settle for three Eagle, here, Eagle. Nick. Yes, yes. Eagle, Eagle. Third and two. This is a huge third and two for Ghost. He just he much rather hold Kip to the field goal than give up this touchdown. Vic. Waiting. Corner out. Had the man up. Josinko in the end zone. Touchdown for Kim. And we got ourselves a ball game here in game two. What a dot from Mike Vick to the former Bengal. I think now the former Ocho Cinco, Chad Johnson. And with under 30 seconds left, how about the response from the surgical young kid on offense? All right. Here we go. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here, Nick. I'm not talking HQ. It's going to be a big drive right here for Ghost. Yes, yes. Kiv with that oh, oh. Up, up. flat defense. Up, up. No goons out there. Let's go, see if go, he can make two. a play. Ghost in his high-powered offense. Go, go, go. Looking to get down there and make this two possessions. Vic. Oh, he's got him. Vic's over the top. Oh! A diving play by Randy Moss. A dandy from Randy over the middle of the field. Look at Little Man in the players' lounge going nuts. With his EMV crew member goes. We're going to take this to the fourth quarter. Fours the in the chat. The good news for Kim is he's not in the end zone yet. If he can hold him to three, we still got ourselves good ball game. Don't go anywhere. It's a three-point ball game. A chance to go 2-0 and oh in Group C. Kim goes. Goes up by three. Coming tomorrow to Madden Ultimate Team, here is a first look at Terrell Owens and Rod Woodson. Make sure to follow at EA Sports underscore Mutt for when items are available in game. Also, you gotta make sure to turn it into Madden Daily Drops tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern right here on this Twitch channel. 
to find out who is the limited time ultimate legend coming to Madden Ultimate Team. Players Lounge is locked in. Lil Man, he's raving the, raising the roof. He did the yes, and then he called incomplete pass. Only Lil Man. Kim's locked in. He's looking for his defense to make a stop. We're five minutes away from finding out who's 2-0 in Group C, the group of death here on day two of the Madden Bowl. Oh, good hit. Low cap this. Right? I mean, that's what you're going to have to do. you got low cap players. Your AI defenders aren't going to be that on point. So it puts that much more stress on you to make plays with your user defender. Kid gets the user hit stick at the point of the catch, knocks the ball out. Now he just need to do, needs to do that two more times, two or three more times. Up, up. Face 24. I mean, look at Ghost. He is constantly flipping his play, and he loves these little hit drops. Look at it. There it is again. Middle of the field has a man. The defender can't make the play. Julio MG with the catch, and goes back up two scores. What a brilliant route combination. He has the hitch route with the post over top of it. He's been throwing the hitch all game long. That ends up distracting Kim's defensive user. He goes down to take away the hitch, leaves the middle of the field open for the big play. Ghost recognizes it, makes the read. And that's how you fool someone's user defender. And that's not easy to do, especially when you're trifling with someone like Young Kim. Phenomenal, look at this. Kid's gonna see the hitch route. He runs down through it, leaves the post route. Ghost recognizes it. Put it all out! One stop. That was three champion chest slaps. Ah, uh, look at little man flexing on the hole. The whole play is lounge. He's a feisty little fella. First and 10 for Kim. And you're seeing in this game, that balance build by Ghost, his defense, got some talented players out there that are making plays and holding Kip to only 14 points. Yes, I love Kip's roster building. A lot of these guys just loaded up on offense. Ghost has a nice offense, but not a lot of those abilities, which a lot of them save some cap and use it on the defensive side of the ball. Oh my God. Oh, 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 we're going the other way with some room. It's the legend, Shantan. No, that was LaDainian Tomlinson, the running back position with a pick inside the 10 yard line. Now we talked about it in ultimate team. There's certain items where guys aren't in their natural positions. One of them is an Ladanian Tomlinson that plays linebacker. Ends up getting the tip drill interception. And now Ghost just in complete control of two possessions with the ball in his red zone. And the most important thing for him is he's just gonna let this clock right here continue to tick along with that play clock. I don't know about you, RG, but LT looked pretty comfortable out there at linebacker. That's a good item. It's on a lot of players' rosters. But then it's a low cap player, but he's got a lot of speed. He can't make tackles, but he can make interceptions. He can get like, get himself in position to at least cause some traffic. And then obviously, once he gets an interception, it's Ladani and Thomason trying to return the kickback. I don't know about that play call right there by Ghost. Dangerous throw to the hitch. Jeremy Shockey. What it is, is he's trying to get daggerish right now. Instead of just milking the clock, he's trying to score a touchdown, make this three possessions, and really put it out of reach for Kiv, because a field goal is still two possession ball game, and with a player like Kiv, when he has all three timeouts, he's still very much in that. Go steps up, out of the pocket, waiting. Nobody open, he'll get to the sideline, take it down near the five yard line. Stays in bounds, he'll let that run all the way down near the three minute mark. And with a field goal here, he'll go up by 13. Ghost in control. What must be going through the mind of our defending Madden Ball champion, Young Kim? Started oh, out with a hard shit. fought win over Blocky. Ghost missed it. He missed the field goal wide right. It stays a 10 point game. Special team. Coming into play, we've seen Ghost in the past miss some big field goals. It is still a two possession game though. Up, up. 
Shaking his head. 2.04 to go. Excuse me, 3.04 to go in the fourth quarter. Vic, quick throw. Sharp, spin move, sharp, spin move. He'll pick up 11. Can you believe that, Nick? You, you, you coast. You have a chance to really put the pressure on Kiv. You have all of the momentum. The reason you lost to Kiv two years ago was you missed the field goal. And now here we go. You give him a whole brand new breath of life, Kiv, with all three of those timeouts. Vic. Vic, yeah. Good cover ball, though. You saw Kip cover that ball after the spin. It's going to protect you from fumbling on big hits like that. How do you cover that ball? You simply just hold the RB button when you're running around with your ball carrier, Nick. Eagle, eagle. It's good to know because I'm, I'm a fumble machine. They call me Butterfingers in my league. <laughs> First and 10 for Kip. Down 10. Clock starting to become an issue as we near the two minute warning. Nobody open. Oh, just kidding. That's Ocho Cinco down the sidelines, came back to the ball, made a big play. Two minute warning, 10 point game. Most importantly though, RG, both players still have all three timeouts. Look at Lil Man. The seasoned veteran right there. I mean, he might, he's been around for a long time, that little man. That was the guy that was competing back when I was competing, he's been around since about Madden 07. And has stayed competitive ever since. A true veteran. I don't know if it's possible to hear the energy without any sound coming through the microphone, but I can hear it from Lil Man. He's pumped. He's always been a passionate little guy, man. He'll, he gets loud. He's from the old school. He's used to playing in live events where there's a crowd there. Everyone's breathing down your neck. That kid's gone through baptism by fire more than a couple times. Underneath. And apart from that Ocho Cinco broken play, one thing I've been impressed with by Ghost is he's keeping the ball in front of him, not letting Kib get chunk plays over the top. That's a really good point, Nick. And here we go, Kib with all three of those timeouts. If he can score a touchdown here, he's going to give himself a real legitimate chance to get a defensive stand. Big Can't get there. Two yard line, buck 15 and counting. You got to hurry up if you're the Kibba. Every second counts at this point in the game. But this is truly what's keeping Kiv alive, is all three of those timeouts, because even if he doesn't get an onside kick, he can force, prevent Ghost from getting a first down and give himself a chance to get the ball back. Goal line formation for Kiv, second and goal. He's gonna split Williams out. We saw him get swatted earlier on this play. Oh, good defense. I don't know if you heard that. I think that was five chest slaps. We're up to 10 in the game. Look at Little Man. They're, they're clearing Look at out. Drini next to him can't contain it. Did you see everyone else cleared out away from that couch? I don't want any of this noise. Uh oh, here we go. Kiva. Vic. Got him. High pass. Got him. Sinko. That is huge. That is huge right there, Nick. Because getting a touchdown if you get a stop on Ghost and get the ball back with, you know, 30, 25 seconds left is going to be extremely difficult. A field goal, on the other hand, is extremely manageable for a player like Young Kim. Be interesting to see if he thinks onside kick right here. He's just going to kick it deep. I was wondering that if it's only a three-point game, do you go for the onside kick, the chance to get it back? Knowing that they may be in field goal range, but you'll still have a chance. This. The Red Sea parted for Ocho Cinco. Those hitch routes, if you haven't got the memo yet right now, start utilizing those hitch routes. It's literally a hot route that you can put any of your slot wide receivers on. No chemistry needed for that one. No chemistry needed for that one. All right, one there stop. And this is awkward if you're ghost. It's, do you want to just run the ball three times? and can see that kid's going to get the ball back with no timeouts, or do you risk throwing the ball to get a first down to end the game, but possibly give Kiv a chance to use some of those timeouts if he gets the ball back? It's an awkward situation. Looking at the play art, it looks like Ghost is slanging. Out of bounds. That's huge wow. for the Kiva. Oh, that was Ghost worst case scenario. That was, oh, that was bad for Ghost. 
Didn't get the first down, stopped the clock, gives Kevin extra timeout. Then locked in on the players lounge, we're locked in up here. Eagle, Eagle. This is it. Third and seven. Oh, this is big. Three point game. Two timeouts two. remaining for Kiv. A first down will end it. What type of dodge do you got? Ghost looks like he's going to try to throw for it. Flipping the play. Mixing on his left hip. Rice in motion. Got the hitches again with a post. Post going over he's the middle. He's got Chucky. Oh, he's got a first down. Come on. And with that play, Ghost will win the group. He's locked into that number one Damn spot. It. He is I'm locked in kids, to the man. buy into the next round. Really? Just with that win alone? Wow. And if it's wrong, you can blame Donnie oh, Moore, who just told me that. That is huge right there for Ghost. And how about that thought? He's been throwing the hitches and the post. This time he goes to the zig, to the tight end. Kid leaves it completely unaccounted for. And Hassan's fall from North Brunswick, New Jersey. It's back in the mode he's comfortable in.